Um, this is kind of the unofficial kickoff to what's going to be a long week of activities, uh, not only here in Montgomery County, but across our country to commemorate uh, Juneteenth. What Juneteenth is a commemoration, June 19th, is now a federal holiday, been celebrated for hundreds of years by African American communities as our second Independence Day. It, was, it, it formally commemorates the day that U.S. General Gordon Granger came before a crowd in Texas to read the general order that had been implemented by President Lincoln to officially and legally uh, free all enslaved peoples. I think a lot of times when we tell the story of Juneteenth, we tell the celebratory part of it. We forget the part that said that enforced and created a system of bondage in another name. Um, and so it reminds us of kind of the duality of being American, that we make progress and we take steps forward, but we still have so much to do. Whereas Juneteenth is the oldest national, nationally celebrated commemoration of the ending of slavery in the United States. And whereas General Gordon Granger arrived in Galveston, Texas on June 19th, 1865 and announced the end of the Civil War and the end of slavery. There were still 250,000 enslaved people in Texas at that time. That day became known as Juneteenth. And while Juneteenth is a celebration of freedom, it also highlights the injustices that were suffered and are still felt to this day. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the County Council of Montgomery County, Maryland, hereby commemorates and celebrates Juneteenth, and be it further resolved that the County Council recognizes the full history of the United States and its people for the betterment of our society and encourages all county residents to do the same. Presented on this day, the 13th of June in the year 2023, signed by myself and the council president on behalf of all council members. Happy Juneteenth, y'all. Right.